people describe it as, as ugly beautiful or harsh beautiful. see it as being very integrated with my experience of art and drawing and everything else. But I remember my dad giving me a camera when I was really small and also teaching me how to process my own film. So I used to do my own black and white printing. And then starting to do kind of photo comics, sort of photo comic stories, crazy stories, roping in my brother, developing disguises. After I graduated from art school, I met my partner and we were together for 15 years after that. And he just started joining in my photo shoots and by osmosis we started collaborating on our, our art photography together. Um, and even eventually went to Goldsmiths and did the MA Fine Art as a duo at the college. Seven years ago we broke up very unexpectedly and very severely and it coincided with lots of huge crises in my life. And the really curious breakthrough moment for me after five, six years of not doing any photography whatsoever was thinking I'd sold my apartment bunging all of the photographic equipment on eBay. And then six months later, the sale fell through very unexpectedly. And I found myself with a studio to use, suddenly feeling a bit more alive, deciding that I had to do something to start taking photographs again. And so I bought my own photographic equipment, equipment that sort of suited me better. And so I started just doing physique photography and, and getting in models like Wes, who I was shooting earlier, and, and photographing very lovely but very insignificant photographs um, and just getting back into the swing of it. I was photographing somebody for this physique, physique shoot one day, really charming guy. He didn't have a sense of how to pose, how to capture the light, how to do things that suited his body well. And in a moment of sort of desperation, this penny dropped and I thought he had such an extraordinary face. I'd love to just photograph his portrait. And that became the trigger for flowing into doing portrait photography. I have a sense of it trying to capture something sort of restless and pensive about them. Um, and also playing with ideas of portraiture, so it's not just a picture of them, it's not just trying to capture who they are, but it's also trying to play with the history of portrait painting. I hope the images are beautiful and respectful and thoughtful about the, the people modelling for me. There's nothing more wonderful than, than working quite late into the night, very passionately on on processing these photographs. And they take me maybe three, sometimes six hours to work up in Photoshop with very complex sort of layering. And each one is, is almost like a painting for me.